Hello, and welcome to this brief software showdown brought to you by Applied CAX, your trusted Siemens solution partner. Today, we're diving deep into the comparison of two engineering simulation heavyweights, Siemens SimCenter 3D and Siemens FEMAP. If you're wrestling with which tool will best suit your engineering analysis needs, you've come to the right place. Siemens Digital Industry Software is focused on helping companies accelerate their digital transformation. A comprehensive digital twin is a key enabler for this. It must be comprehensive in that it covers the entire product and production lifecycle, and it must include a closed loop to ensure actual performance data is fed back into models that are continuously refined. It also needs to scale to cover everything from materials to full systems and entire products, including the electronics, mechanical design, software, manufacturing, app development, and IoT analytics. The SimCenter portfolio is one of the keys to unlocking this digital twin. It consists of tools and software required to ensure the digital twin is truly comprehensive with simulation and testing. One aspect is structural performance and analysis. This is where SimCenter 3D and FEMAP come into play. These mechanical products allow you to create comprehensive and predictive models for domains such as structural analysis and dynamics, acoustics, durability and fatigue, motion, thermal, and more. Both SimCenter 3D and FEMAP are products of Siemens, each offering impressive simulation capabilities, including finite element analysis. However, they're each designed with a specific approach to the engineering process. The core solver for both tools is SimCenter NASTRAN, an industry standard in linear statics and linear dynamics. Next, let's discuss where each of these tools shine, then we'll look closer at some of the key features and discuss the differences. Starting with SimCenter 3D. It is built on top of NX, so anyone with NX experience will feel right at home using the tool. This means that it is fully integrated with NX CAD and the modeling approach is focused on geometry workflows. The benefit to this is quick iterations and an associative link to the underlying CAD. Another unique feature to SimCenter 3D is its ability to create assembly FEMS. These are special finite element models that allow for large and complex designs to take advantage of individual component FEMs. The user simply meshes apart once and the assembly will automatically use this mesh for all instances of that component. FEMAP, on the other hand, is a standalone application focused on pre and post processing simulation models. Its toolset is analyst-centric, providing for very efficient finite element model creation with advanced meshing tools. These tools are best in class for creating and manipulating models at the node and element level. The analyst has extremely fine-grained control over the model. Many of the same controls are available in SimCenter 3D, but FEMAP being purpose-built tends to be more direct and efficient with this control. We've introduced each of these tools and their strengths. Now let's dig a little deeper into some key features, starting with integration capabilities. SimCenter 3D, being an integral part of Siemens' larger product lifecycle management solution, integrates seamlessly with other Siemens products. It's a geometrically centered tool, meaning it puts a primary focus on geometry for creating and editing simulation models. This makes it a versatile tool within the Siemens ecosystem a benefit that we at Applied CX are intimately familiar with. On the flip side, FEMAP, as a standalone application, puts more emphasis on meshing, which means it allows you to create and modify the finite element mesh independently of the geometry, which can be a plus when dealing with complex or poorly defined geometries. Here we see an example demonstrating SimCenter 3D's integration and assembly modeling approach. Moving on to simulation capabilities, both tools are impressively robust. SimCenter 3D offers more comprehensive multidisciplinary solution with simulations including structural, thermal, flow, motion, composite, and multi-physics analysis. FEMAP, while excellent in structural analysis, is less broad in its range of simulation disciplines, but offers deep mesh-centric control. Here we see an example of the FEMAP interface demonstrating the meshing controls and robust model creation toolset. In terms of usability, 
SimCenter 3D provides a more unified and intuitive user interface as part of the NX platform, making it easier for engineers to design and simulate within the same environment. FEMAP, while extremely robust, leans towards a more technical interface, focusing on providing detailed control over meshing and analysis setup. Pricing for both tools can vary significantly based on the configuration and licensing model. To get a detailed quote tailored to your needs, we recommend contacting our team at Applied CAX. So to sum it up, if you're in need of a broad integrated solution that's geometrically centric, SimCenter 3D may be your top choice. However, if you're looking for a standalone dedicated FEA tool with mesh centric capabilities, FEMAP could be a great fit. And with bundled licensing options, it doesn't have to be an either or situation. Both SimCenter 3D and FEMAP are highly effective tools in their own right, and your choice should be based on your specific needs and project requirements. For a deeper understanding and a hands-on experience with these tools, reach out to our expert team at Applied CAX for a demo or trial. That's it for today's software showdown brought to you by Applied CAX. If this comparison was useful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future tech comparisons. Thanks for watching.